Let's see how we can compute the time complexity of recursive functions. Suppose we have a function like this and we see that if n is greater than 1 then we are going to have another function called for a n minus 1. Here the input was n since this is we are using recursion now the call is for a of n minus 1. Suppose the time taken by function a n is t of n then the time that that will be taken by a n minus 1 would be t of n minus 1. So let's see how we can work this out. So we know that t n is going to be this is going to take time 1 and this is going to take time t n minus 1. So if n is greater than 1 then t n is 1 plus t n minus 1. But if n is 1, it is just going to take time, time 1. We are going to use a technique which is called back substitution and we are going to substitute tn minus 1 in this recurrence relation for tn. If tn is equal to 1 plus tn minus 1, that means tn minus 1 would be 1 plus tn minus 2. In this we are going to substitute for n we are going to substitute n minus 1. So we will get this. Again tn minus 2 would be 1 plus t of n minus 3. We can substitute these values of tn minus 1 and tn minus 2 over here in this equation of tn and we say tn is 1 plus this is the value for tn minus 1. So this gives us 2 plus tn minus 2 and now substituting for tn minus 2 we get 2 plus 1 plus t of n minus 3. This gives us 3 plus t of n minus 3. If we generalize this we will get k plus t of n minus k and this would be where the algorithm would stop. Now for the stopping condition this needs to be 1 because this algorithm is going to run as long as n is greater than 1. So for the stopping condition n minus k has to be equal to 1. That means k, is, will, k will be n minus 1. Substituting the value of k we get n minus 1 plus t of n minus k that means n minus n plus 1 and we get n. That means the time taken by this algorithm is n. So we say that the time complexity is order of n. Let's take another example where this is the recurrence relation tn is n plus t of n minus 1 if n is greater than 1 and it is 1 if n is equal to 1. So we are going to use back substitution again. First we are going to compute for t of n minus 1. Putting n minus 1 in this equation, t n minus 1 would be n minus 1 plus t of n minus 2. And similarly, t n minus 2 would be n minus 2 plus t of n minus 3. So we are going to substitute these values of t n minus 1 and t n minus 2 in equation 1 over here. And we say t n is n plus t n minus 1. Putting the value of t n minus 1, we get n plus n minus 1 plus t n minus 2. Now putting the value of t n minus 2, we get n minus 2 plus t n minus 3. If we generalize this, we will get n plus n minus 1 plus n minus 2 and so on. And this would be the kth iteration, kth call to the function. So this would be n minus k plus t n minus k minus 1. For this to stop, this has to be equal to 1. That means k will be equal to n minus 2. If we substitute the value of n minus 2 in this, we get an equation like this, which is the sum of the arithmetic progression from 1 to n. This gives us n into n plus 1 by 2. So we say that the time complexity of this algorithm is order of n square as we have an n square term over here we take the high order term 
and we say the time complexity of this algorithm is order of n square.